Do you want to get a shiny Veluza just like me without having to run into 50,000 of them? Well, here's how you do it. There's a little island in the North Paldean Sea, as you see on the marker right there, right above Casaroya Lake, all the way at the top, top of the map. So to get there, you're going to fly to Ground Blight Shrine, and you're going to go on this little journey with me, and I'll take you to this exact rock that I have marked on the screen, and you'll be able to do the exact same method and get a Veluza just like I. So jump up this rock right over here, and if you're lucky, maybe you'll find a shiny Pokemon along the way. I did not, or at least I didn't see one. So if you see me ride past a shiny Pokemon on our journey to this little rock, definitely let me know. Let me know down in the comments if you see me drive by any shiny Pokemon, because I didn't see any. But also, I have the eyes of a 32-year-old man, and I'm blind half the time. So for extra shiny luck, you're going to jump over this person right here, and then we're going to jump off of this rock and land on that rock right there, right in front of us. You can glide a little bit if you need to. It's not necessary, but boom, there we go. Now we're on the rock. So what we're going to do is you're going to stand right here, and as you can see, you can look around, and you can see a bunch of Pokemon around the rock. So what we're going to do is we are going to plop down a hard save here before we make any type of sandwiches or anything like we always do because we're going to make shiny sandwiches and we want to save our Urban Mystica. So we're going to open up a picnic, which as you will see, you have to find the exact right location on this rock to be able to actually open up a picnic in the first place. So stand about right here as you see me doing, then you'll be able to open a picnic. And what we are going to do is we are going to make a shiny sandwich, which will be sparkling power level three, encounter level three, and title level three for psychic. So we're going to use cucumber, pickle, three servings of onions, and then you can use whatever two Herba Mystica you have the most of, as long as you don't mix and match sweet and sour. So this is what I used, too spicy, because that's just what I have. And then here we go. We're going to make this lovely, lovely sandwich. And there we go. There's a delicious sandwich. And now we're going to take this lovely, lovely pickle and onion and cucumber sandwich, shove it in your mouth. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, it's spicy because we used a spicy Urban Mystica. And yay, hooray. I guess we didn't throw up that time. I don't know. But <laughs> as you will see here, this is going to give us Sparkling Power Psychic Level 3, Tidal Power Psychic Level 3, and Encounter Power Psychic Level 3. And as you know, Veluza is a Psychic type Pokemon. So what you'll do here is now if you zoom out and pan around, you will see Veluza spawning all around this rock. And you don't even have to move. You just look right in front of you and you'll see Veluza there. And then you do need to turn the camera a little bit to pan over here to see them. But if you pan all the way around, you will notice that they do not spawn behind you. So you don't have to worry about looking behind the rock. Just look right in front of you and over to the right a little bit. And that's all you have to do. And then you just keep picnic resetting until you find it. And it will take you to do, you know, you're going to have to find the right spot again, just like I always do. And you run around and you get mad and you're like, all right, listen, all right, I'm going to stand right here. And now you can actually open up a picnic. So now we have been able to open up a picnic and we're just going to close it. And it's going to reset every single spawn. Like you guys already know how to do picnic resets. This game's been out for months. We know how to picnic reset. And you just keep doing it over and over again until you find that shiny Veluza. And when you find the shiny Veluza, maybe don't jump into the water like I did because I got attacked over and over again by all of these Veluzas and it was hard to get to this shiny. But, you know, eventually you'll find shiny Veluza. It'll spawn right there. The only thing that you need to be weary of with this is it does know the move Final Gambit. I don't know exactly what level it learns it at, but this was level 56 and a new Final Gambit. So I just do a quick ball. I didn't even know what kind of moves it had. But I had a lead with a ghost Pokemon, so it wouldn't have been able to hit me with Final Gambit anyway, so it would have been fine. And here, let's check and see if it's marked. 3, 2, 1. Nope, not marked. Sag. But, you know, let's add it to our party and let's check it out a little bit further. And as you see here, yes, it has Final Gambit, which will cause the Pokemon to faint if used. So if you go up with this with a Pokemon that is not a ghost Pokemon or that can be hit by fighting moves... Veluza is going to die and you're going to lose your shiny. So say before or, you know, at least have an answer to the final gambit move of some sort. Um, easiest thing is just a ghost Pokemon lead. Then you don't even have to worry about final gambit hitting in the first place and it won't die because the move will just fail. So, yeah, that's all you got to do. And then you will get your shiny Veluza and then you can proudly... I guess you could attack the other Veluza with your now shiny Veluza because they are still going to attack you every time you enter the water. But, you know, let me know what Pokemon you want to see next down in the comments below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe!